Hello guys, I'm the Kegman. Welcome back to Motorsport Manager 2019. One second, one second. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't the best way to do an intro, was it? No. Anyway, welcome back. I am the Kegman. Welcome to Fire Fantasy 19, the Motorsport Manager mod that we all love. Um, we are doing well so far. I completely salvaged that. Completely salvaged that. Oh, we're doing very well so far, um, as we can tell from the uh, from the end of the last episode that we have won the tournament and the championship for both drivers and team standing uh, for the drivers and the team already. Um, there is no way we can lose at this point, really. Um, we are 113 points clear, 25 points for win, 18 points for second place. Obviously, the drivers, you know, it's only two drivers per team. Um, which means that there's a maximum of, what, 86 points available for a team? And yeah, we're 113 points clear. And, yeah, I mean, one of these two is going to finish top. One of these two are going to finish top, because the maximum someone can get is 50, and he's on 53. So, it's all about getting first and second at this, play, uh, this point uh, for our drivers. Doesn't matter which. Probably Book will get it. He's, he's definitely got the advantage, a 33-point advantage, shall we say. Um, but today we are taking on Rio de Janeiro. And um, I'm kind of looking forward to it. At the same time, I'm not looking forward to the end of the season. We've got three races left on this Yahoo deal. Um, that tick over at the start of next season. There's a lot of races. We've got, we haven't got much money, okay? We haven't got much money. We've only got £9 million in the bank. We're going to have around about £9 million by the end of the season, which means we'll have £18 million. Um, factor in, obviously, the prize money, uh, which we'll have a little bit of. Our, our car cost 16 million pounds and we are gonna have to work on this car next season currently we're doing okay second first and first i don't know if we're going to drop down any point uh we may do but we'll have to uh work on that see how things go just gonna turn that microphone up just a touch and just put it down um so yeah we're gonna get straight on this race there's no point in catching up we know we've won let's just get on with it um i could have to apologize uh obviously if you guys are watching this on the wednesday um, and you've been keeping up the series, you'll notice that there was not a video released on Monday. Now, I did put a tweet out about it, so if you're not following me on Twitter yet, please do drop a follow on Twitter. Um, multiple reasons, multiple reasons. One, I can give you sort of up-to-date feedback and news as to if and when and how maybe a video won't be coming out. Um, I can also then keep you updated on when streams are going to be. Um, and yeah, it's, 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 it's just really useful um, if you want to keep up to date with stuff as to um with regards to my my content here um if you do follow us on twitter i'm fairly active on there fairly active and i'm pretty easy to find i think i have been dropping links in the descriptions and uh yeah we'll, i'll probably stick one in the bottom here today so yeah so with regards to monday's episode the reason i didn't get a video out is because one of the neighbors nearby was uh, making a lot of noise. Making a hell of a lot of noise, in fact. So, it was raining uh, on Monday, like heavily, yet someone decided they were going to mow their grass. Who mows the lawn when it's raining? And uh, there was also some construction work going on nearby as well. Again, in the rain. Don't quite get it. But, um, yeah, even with stuff closed, even with doors closed, windows closed, it was still extremely loud. Um, my microphone, even with a, uh, a noise gate on it, uh, which I can set up, and I actually do have a noise gate set up on it because of reasons. Um, even with that, it was still an issue, and yeah, needed to uh, needed to take that into account. Oh shit! One second, I haven't got this sorted out, have we? Um, I didn't want to. I didn't want to fuck things up in regards to recording. And talking about fucking things up recently, I have noticed. I watched the last couple of videos back, and I don't know if it's just the last two or three, or if it's the entire series. Obviously, as you guys know, if you're regulars here, the reason we do the intros the way we do it, the reason I am so choppy when it comes to my videos, is because I don't really have that much time to edit at the moment, and I'm trying to keep things simple. Um, I, you know, what, I've just completely lost my train of thought. That's 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 my level of I just I just can't. Um I can't even remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, uh volumes. Volumes. <laughs> so uh the volumes, I I like I say I don't quite I don't often get the chance to go back and check the volumes of things. But uh, I'm hoping 
that I've just done a couple of bits here that will help us um, get the, the noise quality right. Because I hate it, myself, I personally hate it. If I go to watch a video um, by anyone and then the intro, for example, is 10 million times louder than the person who's actually recording the video, I get the arse ache. And I don't really want things to, um, I don't really want it to be like that for you guys. Or for me, actually, because like I say, it, it gets on my wick. So I'm going to try and get that sorted out and resolved. I'll have a quick play around of things. Um, I think we're just going to go with that. 58% for book isn't fantastic. Um, Kyrone's not too far away from where he needs to be, but still need to uh, do a bit of figuring out there. Likewise for book, a lot of figuring out to do. Now we have got a bit of rain. I am going to continue pushing out on these ultra softs now. So I want to get at least level 1 knowledge. At least. I don't know how long the rain's going to last. It looks like we're going to be needing inches at some point. But that level 1 knowledge is A, going to be useful, and B, is going to be very important when it comes to qualifying, I should imagine. Right. So we've dropped in the middle there. Dropped in the middle there. I mean, we're up because of the, the cornering. Um, but the handling's gone away. So the handling actually wants to go back. It wants to go to here. Um... As for the cornering, that might be enough of a change to see some positivity out of it. Yeah, that, that might get us an excellent there. Speed balance more or on. That should get us another 2, maybe 3% if we're lucky. Uh, oh, look at this. Great, excellent, excellent. Great, excellent, excellent for book. 97%. I'm not going to mess around with that. 97% is good enough for me. Um, I'm going to get you straight onto the, um, the intermediates. I want to leave Kyroli out on the Super Soft for now, because I do want to get that level 1 knowledge, if possible. And we're not we're not far away from the level 1 Ultra Soft, I'm just going to let him run. I'm going to let him do a full lap, and then I'm going to bring him in. I don't think that's going to work, is it? You can get you attacked, overtaken. Yeah, I don't think that's quite going to work, because Kyroli now, from around here, is that ultra stuff going to be there in time? I'm not too sure if it is. You might have to do one more lap. Which is not going to be great, really. It's, um, it's rather unfortunate. It's, gonna, it's literally just going to be on the cusp, yeah. Literally, as it gets past, it's going to tick over now. Any second now. Any second now, there we go. And then the rain goes away. But we're going to bring them both in. Get them both in because uh, we've got just about enough time to try and get some more ultra soft knowledge. The Inters didn't get to level one, it kind of feels like it was a waste of time, I won't lie. But, um, you know, it's, it's just as it is. I need to get a weather center, I need to get a weather center um, set up ideally so we know what's going on in a sort of a long term sort of scenario. All right, so we've got a great, great, excellent. Is that an improvement? 96%. I'm just going to... You know, I'll, I can live with 96%. I can live with 96 That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. But that'll do. All right, so. Get both of these guys hitting it as hard as possible. We've got three minutes to try to get to level two on the, uh, the Ultra Soft knowledge. Might be a hard ask, but um, hopefully we can get something out of this. Hopefully. So we're nearly at level three for race trim, which we have just got, but as long as one of these guys, that was fucking tight, that was fucking tight in the ultra soft, but we got it though, not ideal, not ideal, but um, you do, it's not like we haven't won the championship, it's not like we're fighting to win the championship at this point, it is one, it is one, you know, oh well. Alright, let's get uh, some ultra soft to light food because I've got to take that on for whatever reason. And then sweeter spots too. Um, car setups I'm happy with. As we know, just want to use the right tyre, which is going to be that. It does look like there's going to be some precipitation at some point, so we will hold off. I will make sure we've got the right tyres for this. But there is going to be some precipitation there. By the, for the, by the way, for the, there's a few people who might not know what precipitation means. Rain. Rain, basically. I don't know how much rain. There's no point in sticking them out now and then having it rain. May as well wait for it to dip off. It's going to take about two minutes to get around the track, so 
Try Roly in the three minute thirty point, and then we'll put Book out just thirty seconds later. Go that. I just want to see how this rain is going to drop off. It looks like it's going to drop off quite nicely, actually. Beautiful, beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. Okay, let's slow down. So I'm going to send out Pyroli. Literally on the four minute mark, I think. Yeah. So if we get you going now. Get it slowed down. Optimization didn't work. Straight away, which is unfortunate. Uh, we said 3 minute 30 mark, didn't we? So let's get Book out now. We're going to aim... We're going to aim a little bit late, because we messed up. We're going to aim a little bit late, and then work it out. So I'm going to aim between the E and the D for the uh, air, clear air optimization for Cairo, because it did take a little while for me to get it, get it right. Like so. And then I'll adjust, if necessary, over here. It's going to be hard to say because I, I don't know how exactly how long I left it. Right. And that should do the job. Hopefully. We've got an overheated perfect there. Uh, looks like we're going to probably get an overheated here. Oh, just a dip down. Oh, it's so close. Very, very difficult to get the right the right levels there, unfortunately. Um, but Cairo is sticking in some very fast times here. Very, very fast times indeed. He goes first. Look. Can you get it second? How oh, we go one two? We've got pole position and oh, and that's what happens if you uh, play around with the weather. I mean, even then we still had a wet lap. Wow, we still had a wet lap regardless. That's fine though. I'm happy with that. That's good. That's good. We still got one two. You know, even with the wet lap. Bonus. Gonna make this next race so fucking easy though. That's the only downside. This race is gonna be incredibly easy. But it's fine. We'll do what we do. Um, Susie Perry, of course. Is uh, in Rio. Most people don't understand the obsession with Susie Perry. I don't talk about her often these days, but uh, if you go back and watch some of the previous um, like Ice and Fire videos, you'll notice that I have a little uh, a little thing for Susie Perry, shall we say? Oh, she's hot, and she wears leather cat suits. I mean, what's not to like? Uh, so we can do a maximum of thirty-four laps worth on this fuel, which is not going to happen. Um, but I'm not overly concerned about that. Just want to get these tyres right. Um, we're just gonna get these guys to go away ASAP. Gonna go one two. I just want them to speed off ahead. When this comes up here, I can't do it yet. I'm gonna have to wait until they get to the line. I'm gonna tell um, Kyroli to let foot pass. Actually, no, I'm not because. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just don't want them to compete against each other. I want them to pull away from each other. Or pull away from the front of the pack. So it's hard to say what I really want to do. I'm going to try and fiddle this as much as I can. <laughs> um, because I do want... Um, so I'm going to get to tell Book to let Kyrody pass, actually. So I think Book has won. Now teammate for it. There you go. The Book has won... It's just about making sure that we were guaranteeing. And by the looks of things, these guys pulling away from the front of the pack already. Um, we do have rain to deal with, though. Didn't see that. Didn't check that bit out, did I, before I started? Fine. We'll uh, we'll get ourselves a nice little bit of distance. Already got a six and a half seconds gap. Uh, we're going to get ourselves a nice bit of distance, and then we'll bring in Cairo first. Shit. Popped that up, didn't I? Popped it up massively. I'm alright, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm happy, I'm happy. Um, the rain's going to come in for a few laps, and then it's going to disappear. disappear. Alright. So I'm going to bring in, um, I'm going to bring in Kai Rowley. Yeah. Ah, I missed it, fuck. Um, I'm going to get you in, I'm going to pop you off, and then that should hopefully take a fast one. We're going to lose a lot in the way of positioning, alright? We're going to lose a hell of a lot in the way of positioning. Um, it's fine. It is absolutely fine. And then Book's going to have to slow it down, because otherwise he's going to fuck up. Um, we're going to do the same here. So, the good thing is we're not going to have to pit Pyroli for fuel again. 
Um, but he's going to lose a lot of positions because, well, I, I cocked up. And we're going to do the same here. We're going to top you up fuel-wise. Uh, so you'll have enough fuel. Both drivers will have enough fuel to finish off the race at this point. Um, just whether or not they'll be able to get themselves back into a position where, well, they can actually race. As you can see, Book losing out here to Bordet. The only reason I didn't bring me on that pit is because we don't have um, simultaneous pitting. We have to sort of wait off and then come back in, which is an absolute ball ache. But uh, what can you do? We're going to... Was a collision. Brilliant. Both coming. Brilliant. Book's out of the racing. Yeah, I, I really should have checked the weather. I got overexcited, basically, is what happened there. Got overexcited. He's going to come in. He's going to have to go through again. He's going to lose so much time. But Kai Rowley smashing it out. Going at some fucking mental pace. But yeah, Book's going to have to uh, really, really go with it now. And then again, we are overtaking people who are on ultras, um, which is what we are on. The reason that Kai Rowley's now 25 seconds behind Spengler. Looking like he had a bit of a collision there. He's been given the all clear, but he has been going to have to uh, go in to get new tyres. Um, yeah, it's my cock up, basically. I'm just trying to keep things exciting. Or am I? Or did I just cock up? Am I trying to keep things exciting, or did I just fuck up? That's for you to decide. Stick it in the comments, I guess. Did Keg intentionally cock up? Or, um... Did he just not look at what he was doing? Who knows? Who knows? I cocked up. It's fine. Like I say, we've, we've won anyway. It's not like I'm going to have to worry about much ability for the next few days. Um, or the next few races, in fact. Because, well, we don't need to. I, I just don't need to. We're guaranteed to win the Drivers' Championship. We're guaranteed to win the uh, Team's Championship. This is just going through the motions at this point. But Book is doing fantastically well, getting himself back into a position here. Um, sorry, Kai, yeah, Book and Kai Riley, 13, 14. They're doing very, very well. We are going to bring one of them into pit again in a minute. And I think maybe Kai Riley, I shouldn't have given him so much uh, welly on the fuel, but he's, he's doing a fantastic job here. Probably the same for Book. Um, I might have to bring in both drivers again and give him a bit more fuel. We'll bring in um, Kai Riley on this one. Top you off to 13. So we'll do 30, can't we? Do that. We'll give you the new set of ultra softs. Parks are fine. That's fine. Right. Take a risky pit again. Um, book. I'm going to give you the extra fuel as well. Let's get this sped up again. The thing is, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to stick you on high. You're going to keep attacking those tires because you can. I'm going to stick you on high. I'm going to bring you in. Fuel options. Give you an extra five as well. Not too much. Take it fast. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I, did I give you fresh tyres? I can't remember if I did. Just do it just in case. I wasn't 100% sure if I did give him fresh tyres. So I'm glad I went back and double checked just in case. Right, so Kyrodi in 14. Um, he has pit obviously already. Has got himself a fairly distant distance. Bittman's retired for whatever reason. Uh, mechanical failure apparently. Which means we are going to go past a bit, uh, a Bittman. Um, I really put falling back a little way. That's not going to be a massive issue. We're going to go um, high. I don't care about the overheated tyres. I really don't. He can just kill these tyres. Uh, Davison's crashed. Uh, so there's no overtaking. That is a shame. That is a shame we didn't get the safety car. Because if we had the safety car, this race would have been ours again. That would have been uh, a fantastic race. By the way, I'm waiting for the comments going. You went from a 1-2 down to like 12, 12 18. Because you fucked up. I'm waiting for those comments. Gonna happen, I know. I know I fucked up. But Kyroli's back up in a sick. He's doing good, considering, you know, Book obviously had the drive through penalty. But Kyroli's doing a fantastic job in the fifth now, look. He's getting there. He's making up some time. He's only 10 seconds behind, and that time is dripping, dripping, dipping down constantly. Um, I don't mind giving the guys a bit of push on the fuel for a bit longer. We know we're going to attack the tyres. But uh, I, I want to get to the point where when we next go in, we don't have to worry too much. In fact, all we can do is go medium now. Um, Kyrodi now in four. Let's get this down to speed four. He is on the arse of Blicky Merlin. And he's down to nine seconds behind Bourdais now. I don't think we're going to win the race. I think we're too far behind to win the race, unfortunately for us. Um, podiums work, though. Podiums work. We'll take podiums. Uh, so, Kyrodi, I could give him the extra little push. But six laps to go, 23. Yeah. So, if we can just maintain the six laps worth of fuel, we know that the tyre's going to last. 
Same for Burke. And we're going to have to give him a full fill up, which is the only downside. Um, actually, having killed the fuel completely. And there he goes, into third, overtakes Fleeky Mo. And um, Book, where is Book? Is it Book? I don't know. He is about to overtake Bell. Trying to go on the inside. He just about scaves past him. Scaves, scrapes past him. Now on the arse of Marshall, gets past him too. Book's set in the fastest sector. Um, there. By a long way, by the looks of things, potentially. I don't know. I don't know. May not have been by a long way. He's half a second, you know. Slower there though, much slower for that section, but he was trying to overtake. He's now getting up to see like Kai Rowley, that time, look there, 7.7. Gone down from 10 seconds to 7.7. .7. He might still come back. He is on the arse of Castro Neves at this point. He's only one and a half seconds behind Castro Neves. Once he's past Castro Neves, he's got a, well, free run ahead of him to try and catch up to Bourdais. It's all about book now, or book. On the Arthur Seedler, needing to catch up. I could give him a bit more welly. I don't really want to. I just need him to last as long as he can on this fuel. Then we can give him a few laps worth of fuel to see him out of the race. New tyres as well. Um, because these tyres are not going to last the distance. They will last a good way. It's not going to last the absolute full distance. And then we've got to hope there's not going to be any more rain. Which there may well be. Uh, he did get past Castronevis briefly. Uh, dropped back down. I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you a little bit, alright mate? Do enough to get past him. Do enough to get past him. Do it. Do it. Do it. There's a Kalo has crashed. Get in. There we go. Up in a second. Drop you down a medium now. Carry on pushing hard on these tyres. And then I need you to close down this gap between you and Bordet. Oh, you need an undercut to pass Seedler. I'll tell you what, mate. Give it some. There you go. You're past him. Now just catch up. Catch up. So the Cairo Lee Bordet gap is down to 5.9 seconds now. It's gonna increase because we are gonna have to pit Cairo Lee in and about a lap and a half's worth of time. He's set the fastest lap. Um, but once he's in and out of that pit, that is him done. He won't need to uh, go any faster after that. Look, setting a new fastest lap. Cairo Lee setting a new fastest sector. Hopefully, you can keep this up. Look, how are you getting on there, mate? So I'm going to get him to go a lap longer than uh, Kai Rowley. Because he's got that lap worth fuel more. And the neighbours are starting to do some construction work now. I can hear them getting ready to do it. I can hear them bringing stuff into the gardens. Great. Fantastic. Hopefully we'll get this done in time. Hopefully we'll get this done in time. Uh, there is Kai Rowley. He is on the arse. We are going to have to pit him on this one though. Unfortunately for us. Um, so we'll go to Ultra Softs, we will put in 15 laps worth of fuel. Quite a bit, unfortunately for us. We're not going to take the fast, we're going to take a balanced. Um, I think we might be riding our luck if we take the fast. Uh, Book, like we say, is going to go for a little bit longer. I don't want to give him any more push on the fuel, I need him to carry on. Yeah, down to 2.9 seconds now. Four day, not pitting yet, but he will do. But this is going to be the last pit for Cairoli. Yellow flag, flag again, who crashed this time? It was just there was a collision. Just because there was a collision. Um, Miguel Molina having a collision there. Uh, Book is going to have to put on this one, unfortunately, because it's fires at that point. We'll give him an extra 14 laps worth of fuel. Um, don't need to worry about fixing parts. I am going to take a risky fast one because he is outside of the points at the moment. All right, he's just inside. Um, yeah, we'll just do what we can. I wrote in 10. Um, Seedler behind him. I think everyone ahead of him has now got a pit. I mean, we are 40 seconds behind Bordet. But Bordet's going to have to pit soon. He's going to have to pit soon. So maybe we can turn it around. Here is Book. Here he is in the pit. How are we looking? It's good. Nice. Alright, so he's going to come out in 13th. Not bad. Got four places. Not bad for a pit, really. Um, cover early up in the 12th. You wish you could push. I'm not going to get you to push any harder than that. You're doing fine. 11 laps to go. Got some excess fuel. Got some excess fuel. In fact, what we are going to do is give him a uh, free run to use that excess and try catch up. Um, get on speed 12. Just try and get this race out of the way because he did clock up. Did clock up massively at the start of the race. 
done really well in qualifying as well, but never mind. Um, yeah, so we've got plenty of excess fuel at the moment. Like I say, all of these drivers ahead of us will have to pit. It's just about closing down some gaps now. If we can close down some gaps, then we may still be able to turn this around. Look, a good minute behind for a day. Is a little bit frustrating, I won't lie. Eight laps to go, and Bordeaux setting fastest laps as well doesn't help us. Um, we might need to drop back on the fuel in a bit, which we will do now probably. If we go high, both drivers, there's a few drivers going to be pitting now. In fact, there's drivers in the pits. Up in the fourth there, by Rowley, but I don't think it's going to gain anything out of this. It gains one position. Uh, still a few drivers ahead of him. Uh, Marshall, Bergmeister, Farfus, and Bourdais all need to pit still. So you never know. Um, in fact, talking about Bergmeister, he is ahead of Pyro at the minute. He's about to pit. Bourdais is in the pit. This is the opportunity. This is the opportunity. Right, Pyro. So Bourdais is still ahead. Three seconds ahead. He is giving it some fucking welly. So are we. Book is not in the right position, unfortunately, um, to be... I'm saying he's not that far behind Suchek and Bergmeister. He could be able to gain gain a couple of points for himself. Not that it matters. He has more or less than one. Um, the only person he can lose out to in the driver standings now is uh, Guy Rowley. So I don't really care which which driver wins, as long as it's mine. And he has spun out because I am making him push way too hard. We're going to do that. Uh, we're going to get you to go higher as well, as opposed to. Uh, so, 2.9 seconds now between Cairoli and Bordet. Three seconds now. Is uh, Bordet isn't giving it as much as he was? Look, one went riding. Nah, ran wide again. Um, I think your race is more or less over now, isn't it, mate? I'm gonna let you run. I'm not gonna even worry about you at this point. Cairoli is gaining, but we are leaving him on uh, higher because I want to be able to use that fuel if I need to. And that is the doorbell, so I'll be back in just a second. We'll have a quick cut. All right, that was pointless. Hello, we would like to talk to you about Lord and Oh, go away. Right, anyway. <laughs> it's not about I don't care for religious people. I, it's not about I don't care for religious people. If you want to be religious, go for it. It's your thing. If it's what your way of life, what you believe, fantastic. Just don't come knocking on my door, please. Number one is going to piss me off, and number two, you're going to wake up my child, because she just goes down to sleep during the middle of the day. And if you wake her up, I'm going to be angry. So yeah, please, if you uh, are a, one of these kind of people who like to knock on doors and talk about God, please don't come to my house. Please. Or in fact, I think the majority of people don't want you to go to their houses anyway. In fact, don't, don't go to anyone's houses. They don't want you to do it. Leave them alone. If they want to find God, they'll look for him. Right? Anyway, let's uh, give it the overtakes now. I do want to get Cairoli up in the first place. And we'll make the, uh, the final sort of race between Book and Cairoli a little bit more special, shall we say. I'm not going to give them any instructions for that race. I'm just going to let them do what they want to do. If that means they're going to uh, race against each other and do what they want, I will obviously give them the uh, pit instructions. That's about it. If they want to race against each other, they can. And... We've got a lap to go. We are on the final lap. Pyroli, one and a half seconds behind Bordet. Don't think he's got enough around him to catch him up, unfortunately for us. He looks like he's getting closer, and he is. There's just not enough going on um, upstairs or anywhere, really. We've got just over half a lap to go. Book has got a lot of excess fuel. I probably should have used that, but oh well. Um, Pyroli, 1.2 seconds, 1.4, 1.2. Yeah, so. That is, that is poor, poor work on my behalf, I won't lie. Because uh, I did fuck it up at the start of the race, unfortunately. By not checking the weather. Well, if one thing you should do before you go out is check the weather. Um, Cairoli actually ended up in third. I don't know how that happened. How did Cairoli end up in third? He was a good five seconds ahead of Catherine Evers at one point. Unless he span out at the end. I reckon he spun out at the end because I was giving him too much welly. Because he's got excess fuel. It's not like he ran out of fuel. I reckon he spun out. He must have spun out. We lost to a Frenchman. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Anyway. Um, yeah, let's have a look at the final standings in a moment.
see what's going to happen on. So we know we've won. We have won uh, the GT Championship. We know that. And we're not going to take promotion because it doesn't make sense for us from a financial standpoint to take promotion. It's um, it's who's going to win the championship because that has made it a little bit more exciting, obviously. Book not getting any points there. Cairo only getting third place. I think that means the gap is down to 18 points now. Down to 18 points between the two drivers. And obviously, you've got a time penalty. So, if that, for however long that was, say 10 seconds, you know, he'd have been up there, which would have ended any hope for Book, I think, at that point. But Book is on top. There's an 18 point difference, as we say. Maximum 25 points at this moment in time. So Castro Neves could still, theoretically, and um, no, he can't. No, he can't. Okay, we're guaranteed a one-two. It's just who's going to win? Who's going to win? That is the question now. Guaranteed a one-two. Guaranteed to win. Yeah, not bad. Not bad, really, when you think about it. Um, we're not going to catch up with anything else on this particular um episode, unfortunately. Um, because there's no point in looking at anything else. I'm not building new stuff, I'm not getting any sponsors. There's a couple of drivers I'm scouting, but everyone so far has been absolutely terrible. Um, marketability should still go up. I've got minus five there, and then a plus 12. That's fine. So, marketability still goes up. Not what it matters. Chairman's happy. We lost 12 grand. We don't make money at this game anymore. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of today's episode. So, of course, if you did enjoy today's episode, um, then please do give it a like thumbs up you know whatever you want to do chuck a little comment call me a moron for messing up the race if you want that's fine by me um we're only as of me checking 151 subs away from a thousand which is a fantastic achievement and that's that's a lot of that's down to you guys sticking with me watching the videos and helping out and you know making comments etc etc um i don't really tend to ask for likes and shit like that um because it's it's not my kind of thing um but it would be nice to get to a thousand it would be nice to get to a thousand so if you're feeling generous and you haven't normally clicked the like button or if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed please do click the like button subscribe um and then follow me on twitch as well which by the way if you're watching this will be over on twitch live if you're watching this within the first few hours of this going live you can be able to find me on twitch and i'll leave uh, i'll link, leave links and stuff in the description below anyway guys thank you very much for joining me i'll see you in the next episode and then Motorsport Monday started a new season, maybe. It's Monday. I mean, it's going to work out, isn't it? It's going to work out. Last race on the Friday, and then Motorsport Monday start the season. Sound good? Sounds good. Anyway, guys, take care. I'll see you when I see you. Bye bye.